YouTube and Facebook people. Welcome back to my videos. Today's video is something different. We are doing the list everything challenge. Um, Emily at Emily Conway and Jake at Jakob Benz. Am I saying that correctly? I'm sorry. Um, they are having a giveaway and a challenge. If you go over to their channels, which I will have listed down below, you can get the full details. But pretty much what it is, is you take a before picture of your death pile. Um, I think most everybody has a death pile. And then you take an after picture so that we can see your progress. Um, in the rules, they do say that you don't have to list and complete your entire death pile. I know for some people, that would be a very, very big task, but the minimum requirement was 20 pieces. So show us your 20 items that you're going to be listing and getting out of your death pile, and then show us your nice clean space when you're done. The prize for winning this challenge is $100 cash. I will put the links to both of their videos and their Instagram so that you can read the full list of rules. But essentially, it's just listing stuff that you are already going to list anyway, except now you have a chance to earn $100. So originally, I wasn't going to participate in this challenge. I wanted to, but I didn't have a death pile. Um, 2020, I've been working really hard at getting through my death pile and staying on top of it, and I did it. I had no clothing death pile. Um, I would go sourcing, and then that week, I would list everything that I sourced, and... That's a really cool feeling, but um, 2020 happened and things in Colorado, I won't say they're getting worse, I don't want to make this like a scary video, but there were notifications that popped up on my phone talking about how the risks have maybe gone up a little bit. So I took that as a cue as maybe I should be stocking up in case things start to shut down. So this last weekend, me and Chad, you can find him at The Practical Mechanic, he'll be linked down below as well, but me and him went to the bins in Colorado Springs, it's also called the Goodwill Outlet. We spent two different trips there, we went um, Saturday and Sunday, so in total we spent six and a half hours at the bins. So in those six and a half hours, we managed to pick up 110 pounds. At my bins, they charge $1.39 per pound. I'll go ahead and calculate that and then put it down below. My brain can't handle that kind of math. So I'll go ahead and put it right there, how much I spent on it all. Um, so lucky me, now I have a death pile, which was actually, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to create a manageable death pile in case things got bad. So today is Monday and I was planning on going to New Horizons, AKA my honey hole. I had a coupon that expired today. Um, you spend $25, you get $5 off your next visit. And I had two of those coupons. So I went down there and they were closed. So it was true, Colorado is kind of starting to close down. Um, they'll be closed at least for this week. It was for COVID reasons. Um, I don't know the specifics. It might have just been in precaution to COVID. Um, so hopefully they will be opening up next week, but there is no guarantee. So I am glad that we went to the bins and we picked up stuff. Um, a lot of stuff. So my plan with this is to kind of count things out and limit myself on how much I'm going to list to kind of make it last for a while. Um, if the bins are open by the time this weekend comes, I will go again and get more stuff to stock up on. So since I am trying to ration the stuff that I found, I'm not going to be tackling my whole death pile for this video. I'm going to be doing the minimum of 20 items. That way I make sure I have stuff to list as time goes on and as stuff starts to close down. Um, so I will go ahead and flip you around, show you what I got, and then I will tell you my game plan for how I'm going to start doing this. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had this big of a death pile, so I, I'm just going to have to figure out where to start. All right, flipping you around. There's Bella. Good morning. I'm sorry I woke you up. It's actually not morning. It's 1230. Um, so we have one tote full, two, three four, five, and six totes full of stuff sitting in my kitchen. Um, I will flip you back around and we will discuss our game plan. So typically when I come home from the bins and I need to sort things, I sort them according to how they're going to get washed. 
and once that load is done being washed and dried that's what gets listed first so really there's no particular order it's just whatever makes it to the wash machine first i typically sort my clothing between lights darks jeans delicates and if i have enough of like athletic wear or sweaters i will put them into their own load it'll be specifically stuff that has the potential of getting pulls or snags so i don't wash anything that has buttons or zippers in that load to make sure that everything stays safe um, and that's about all that i separate them into but since i have a lot of stuff and i'm going to be rationing it out i think i'm going to do it a little bit differently i mean i'm still going to like wash them with their according colors so I don't ruin anything but I think that the first thing that I'm going to be getting rid of or listing first is going to be season appropriate stuff so like I picked up a few um, ugly Christmas sweaters so like that stuff is going to go up very first so that people have enough time to purchase it before Christmas um, and then from there on down I might do just like regular sweaters jeans stuff that you would wear in winter time so this is the part I've been dreading. I don't want to make my kitchen a mess, but I'm kind of going to have to for the sake of getting everything organized and in a fast way. So I'm actually going to dump everything out on my kitchen floor. I went ahead and swept and vacuumed my rug to make sure I'm not making more of a mess than I already have to. I'm going to dump it out into one big pile and then sort them back into the bins that they're currently in except this time they'll be organized within these totes um i don't think you need to see me do that i will come back on once everything's sorted i'll show you what it looks like and then we will do a little bit of a haul of the 20 items that i'm going to be listing for this challenge Whew. okay i finally finished going through all 110 pounds and picking out the 20 items that I want to do for this challenge. Um, I actually did it live on Facebook so it was a little less lonely and I had somebody to talk to while I did it. So Brian at Texas Treasures, thank you for keeping me company while I sorted through 110 pounds of clothing. Okay, I'm going to do a quick haul to show you what all I'm going to be listing for this challenge. Um, most of it is like Christmas stuff, kind of like I said, try and get that Christmas stuff up so people can buy it for the holidays. Um, other than that, I felt like it was just maybe weather appropriate stuff. I don't know. So the first thing I will be listing in this challenge is a pair of Nike size small, um, like jogger sweatpant, jogger type pants. These are black. Um, these are in really, really good condition. They feel like they're practically new. So those will be going into the wash first. It's going to be a long day. It's already three o'clock and I still need to wash all of this stuff, dry it, photograph it, measure it, and then list it. Um, this next one is a Puma size extra, extra large. There's the tag and it is this Heather Gray hoodie. Again, this thing feels like it's brand new. It's got the, uh, the Puma right there. It's a full zip hoodie, um, black stripes on the side, really nice workout jacket okay so this next one really has nothing to do with winter i just really like the color um not season appropriate but i like the color of it and i think it's gonna do really good this one is an adidas size medium t-shirt next is the brown <laughs> i'm so tired did i just say next is the brown i don't know why i said that this is not even brown um <laughs> Next is the brand Soft Surroundings. This one's a size extra small. Ay, yeah, yeah. It's been a long day. Um, this is just a cute purple and gray tunic top. I think this will do good too. I think people might want that for the holidays. Um, next, Chad found this one. This is the brand. Hey, no eating while I'm filming. The dog's sitting over there munching on a snack. Um, next is the brand Prana. This one is a size small. I didn't say a material tag, but it does feel like it's linen. Um, elastic waist with the tie, and then it's just this straight leg like trouser. It does have a pocket in the back and then two side pockets. Here we go. Now we're getting into the Christmassy stuff. This one is Lee Sturdy Sweats. This one is a size extra large, and it's a red crew neck sweatshirt. 
um, elastic waist, boxy fit, and it has like puff paint and some bedazzled Christmas tree and presents. And I like that it's like even on the shoulders, so you're like extra fancy. That all depends on your definition of fancy. That's fancy to me, says the girl wearing Beavis and Butthead pajamas. Um, next, this one is the brand Champion. It is a size large really great condition like I'm always shocked when I see stuff at the bins that's like in really good condition um, dark gray hoodie and it has a big embroidered patch and then on the sleeve it also has the embroidered patch really nice so next I'm not sure that this is like technically Christmassy it's a hoodie um, it's got a really ticked off tigger that says don't rattle my cage just don't do it um, bright orange, like hunting orange, um, <laughs> like if you want it to be a really outgoing, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> fancy is the only word that comes to mind, probably because I'm just tired, but like if you want to be a really fancy hunter guy, you could totally wear this sweatshirt. Um, it's a size, it's a pretty decent size. It's a size extra large and it's from Walt Disney World, Disneyland resorts um so that's nice <laughs> oh man the later in the day it gets the less synonyms my brain knows so everything's gonna be cool and fancy just so you know so this next one is by the brand spice of life um it's a size medium so if you live a life that's really spicy um this is the sweatshirt for you technically it's not Christmassy, but it's a sweater. It's like a really thick sweater and you wouldn't wear it in summer, but it's got like summer flowers on it. I don't know. That confuses me a little bit, but it's cute. Extravagant. That's a nice word for fancy. Here's this extravagant, um, ugly Christmas sweater. It's actually really soft. It's got polka dots, which is snow and it has, it, it touched my mouth. <laughs> it's not clean yet. Um, and then it has Rudolph? Could be Rudolph. His nose is red. The back's just plain. And let's see, the size tag's at the bottom. This one is a size extra, extra large. It's 100% acrylic. Next is a vintage. This is by the brand Mirage. It's a size large. Um, maybe I just think it's cool because I'm here in Colorado and we are the Colorado Rockies. I don't like sports. I don't watch sports, but I think this jacket's cool. Um, I think I'm going to price it high and then keep it when it doesn't sell because <laughs> that's the, uh, the reseller way. That's really bad. Don't copy what I do. List your stuff appropriately. Don't do what I do and list it high and then it doesn't sell or it does sell and then you're like, yeah, yeah, I got a lot of money, but I'm also really sad because I wanted to keep it. Man, this thing is so stinking cool. It's not like denim, but it's like a thicker chambray, kind of. I don't know. It's cool. It's got black sleeves, um, a cream front, purple back. I like it. Did I say the size? I did say the size. Okay, this next one is really cool. It does have some discoloration. I'm going to have to work on it a little bit, but it's this vintage Victoria's Secret. This one is a size large. Like, y'all have not seen Victoria's Secret like this. Like, look how glorious this thing is. The color blocking, um, man, this is like straight out of the 80s. Like, what Victoria's Secret angel is walking around wearing this? It's really cool. Like I said, there's some discoloration like right there. I'm going to do my best to get it out, but I still think it'll do good if it doesn't come out. Um, like, there's like this shoelace material going around the waist and it says Victoria's Secret. And then the bottom has the most 80s, 90s patch you've ever seen. This is Victoria's Secret and it's like a sun. And I don't, is that hay or some wheat? I don't know, but it's cool. I like it. Uh, next is some more vintage. I really like picking up the vintage stuff. This one is by the brand Volley's Sport. It's a size medium. And it's just a track jacket. Um, particularly, there's nothing like really cool about it. But I just really liked the colors. Um, it's hard to tell on camera. But this is more of a burgundy red, a hunter green, and then like this navy blue. So it's like a vintage coat. But it's not like, bam, 80s purple and teal. 
jacket type. It's it's more fashionable. <laughs> Next, I actually picked this up for myself, but I'm going to list it because we're in sweater season. If it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. The brand is Castle, but not Castle. It's like Casal. Casal. It's a size large, and it's really soft. And it's got this thick ribbing on the front. Like, it's so soft. I like it. This next one, I want to say I've seen this brand sold at Sam's Club. If you don't know what Sam's Club is, it's like a really big version of Walmart. Like, you can't just buy, like, a can of beans. They force you to buy, like, 20 cans of beans. That's what Sam's Club is. And sometimes, well, not sometimes, all the time, they sell clothing there. And I want to say I've seen green tea sold there. This one is an extra, extra large. So, like, the brand I wasn't sold on but the actual vest completely sold me. I don't know how to explain this color of green. I'm kind of a nerd and into fantasy, and if I had to explain it, I would say it is this fantasy elf green. If you know, you know. All the other nerds are like, yeah, I can see it, that is elf green. It also has this faux fur trim on the hood. I know I'm really weird right now, I'm sorry. I'm so tired, I've had so much coffee today. Um, let's see what else <laughs> it's a full zip but inside is lined with these softest like think of the softest blanket you've ever felt um that feels like steel wool compared to this jacket vest it's really nice so next i don't pick up kids stuff but i did this one is well worn size small it's not well worn that's just the brand it actually feels like it's pretty new it says oh snap and it's got the gingerbread man it's got the striped sleeves uh, let's see next this is probably the coolest thing i've ever seen from the bins chad found it he's always complaining about how he never finds good stuff how he brings me a handful of stuff and then i throw it all back in that's not the truth. I throw most of it back in. Not all of it. Um, this time he found the coolest thing imaginable. I don't want to sell it. I'm going to list it because money. But if I could keep it, I would. This is the brand Thrasher. And it's in excellent condition. There's no fading. Crew neck. Boxy fit. Sweatshirt. With a big old spell out of Thrasher and then underneath it, it says Thrasher or something like that. I don't know. It looks like it's in like Chinese writing, but it's not. It's in English. It's just that style. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like, this is the best thing I've ever held from the bins. Um, I've found Chanel and Dior and Burberry. This is still way cooler than that. <laughs> Um, next, this is also another Chad find. This one is a size medium, and it's this hoodie, and it's Adidas, and it's in really, really good condition, too. It's still really soft, huge spell out on the front. Really good find. I was going to say, if you're watching this, good job, Chad, but he does not watch my videos. He gets enough of me in real life. He would not dare watch a video of me. Um, next, this is more Christmassy. Um, this one is by the brand Bryn Connolly. It's a size medium, and it's this knit sweatshirt, and I like that it's black. Like, it's not your traditional ugly Christmas sweater. I know I've said it already, but, like, it's fancy. This is a fancy, ugly Christmas sweater. Like, if you don't want to be the typical bright green or red person, then this is, like, the perfect way to go. You've got the star, you've got the trees, you've got snowflakes, you've got reindeer, you've got poinsettias, you've got bows, you've got it all. So that's a good sweatshirt or sweater. I keep getting the two mixed up. I used to have a friend that corrected me all the time when I said them wrong, so now that's constantly in my mind. I think it's just a Colorado thing. Sweater implies anything that's like thicker, long sleeve, and keeps you warm. <laughs> Last thing, this is number 20, if I counted correctly. Um, it's not necessarily Christmassy, but I think somebody might want to buy this as a Christmas present for, like, somebody that loves horses. The brand is Rods. It's a size small, and it has the material of cotton and Rami. If you're a Final Fantasy nerd, you know that Rami is in the game. If you're, um, what do you call that person? A, a seamstress? 
who makes clothing? I don't know. It's one of the materials and you build your armor with it. So fun, nerdy fact, but it is a high quality material. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, so on the shoulders, there's that design. Um, the toggle has a horse head and then the, um, the design on it is a bunch of horses. I think they're supposed to be running, but they tried. <laughs> and then there's that cool design at the bottom. So it's like Southwestern. And then on the back, there is some detailing, like on the neck, um, on the bottom hem, there's a little detailing. And then on both sides of the sleeve, it's really pretty. Um, okay, so that is everything in my haul. I'm going to go throw this in the washer. So I'm hoping, oh, it's going to be late when I take photos. Hmm. Well, it's going to be late. <laughs> it's going to be late no matter what. Um, I had a late start to the day. I'm going to have one more cup of coffee. You're probably thinking, Valerie, stop. No, you don't need another cup of coffee. You're talking really fast, but I have to if I want to get my video done in time for Emily and Yakov. Is that how you pronounce your name? I'm so sorry. I wrote it down and then I lost my sticky note. Um, but I want to get my video done so I can be entered to win $100, y'all. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with $100. Buy a shelf. I might buy a shelf. Okay, so here is the 20 items. It looks like a lot more, but it's because it's like heavier, bigger sweater stuff. Good morning, YouTube and Facebook people. Welcome to the next day. Um, yesterday, I wasn't able to start my listings. I lost the light of day and I ran out of steam. I was incredibly tired. So here we are. It's a fresh day. I'm wearing real people clothing combed my hair, put on makeup. It's going to be a good day. Um, I'm going to start photographing all of this. I'm going to get it all done photographed. Then I have to measure it all. Then I'm going to list it and I will be done with the challenge. So yesterday I didn't photograph because I didn't have enough lighting. Well, today it's really cloudy and rainy out. So again, there's not much lighting, but it is better than last night. So we'll see what we can work with. I might end up having to edit my photos because they're not going to be bright enough. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I wanted to give you a better before shot because you couldn't really see it when it was in that big bag. So here's what we're working with. That, ignore that. That's for something else. Um, this is the stuff for the challenge. This is 20 items, all clean and ready to go. Um, actually, a few of them might need sweater shave before I start to photograph. I'll do that really quick with my new fancy dancy not sponsored <laughs> this is my sweater shaver it's a little uh dusty right now but it's called the wonderland and this thing is absolutely amazing <laughs> this video has so much it's a challenge it's a haul it's a work with me it's not sponsored but i'm showing you this product so the main reason that i picked up this lint roller specifically is because it is um cord powered electric powered it does have a spot where if you want to do batteries and be cordless you can do that but I love this um, I have an outlet right next to where I work if you've used a sweater shaver before that runs on battery you know that when the battery starts to go low like your sweater shaver just doesn't do its job as good as it should so with the cord you don't have to worry about spending money on batteries and it stays charged like all the time because it's running on electricity um, the other feature I like about this super lightweight um, the lint container, which is full, <laughs> is like a lot bigger than my last one was. Um, but the other selling feature besides electricity was the blade. So this part unscrews and I will show you this crazy blade. Like this thing is really sharp. It does have a safety. So when the lid's off, it's not supposed to be able to turn on. So you don't chop your fingertips off. Um, but I really liked that the blades are replaceable. So down the road, when this gets dull, I don't have to buy a whole new set. Um, you can buy replacement blades, but I do believe that this comes with two extra blades, which is really nice. So I'll go through those two and then down the road when I need to, I can just replace the blades. Super nice. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I'm just really excited about my sweater shaver. I'll go ahead and check back in with you guys when I have my photography station set up. So yeah. Okay, we are in my bedroom. I'm getting ready to photograph these 20 items. I'm just gonna show you real quick where I'm at or what I'm using. Um, I actually have a video on my channel of how I photograph and like a little trick on how I make things look as best as possible. Um, but I just hang it on this shelf. My dad made me this coat rack thingy bobber. Um, I 
store my Dooney and Burke collection on it. This is really the only place I have to photograph in my house. This is the biggest like empty wall space that I have to do this. I eventually want to upgrade, but this is where we're at. This is what we have. Um, behind me is my personal closet. Me and Chad share that. Um, I have <laughs> an addiction to collecting every single converse on earth. So that's what's behind me. And also I have one umbrella light that I use when I'm photography. Photo <laughs> Also, I have one umbrella light I use for photographing. As you can see, I have an open window right there. I also have one on the other side of the room, but you don't need to see it because my room's kind of messy. Um, yeah, so like I said, I already have a video of how I photograph, so I don't think you need two videos on how I photograph. I'll link it down below in case you're interested on the tips and tricks that I mentioned. Um, but other than that, I will see you when I'm done doing this and when we're back in the laundry room and ready to measure stuff. So I finished photographing this morning. I've moved everything back into the laundry room. I'm gonna measure it really quick. And then normally I measure and then I put things into its bags that it's gonna be inventoried into. But I think right now I'm just gonna measure and then list it so that I can be done with it. And then I will do a little late night bagging stuff up just to get it out of the way um, but I will flip you around there's not much to see I mean I'm literally just using my fabric measuring tape and I'm measuring things um, but I will flip you around show you a little sneak peek of my work area okay here's a little glimpse of my work area I've got a pretty decent sized table there's all of my decorations <laughs> um, that picture right there my niece Rylan painted for me for my birthday it's so pretty I love it um, and then here's just my tools that I'm using obviously measuring tape lint roller little scissors in case I need them and then this is the notebook where I'll be writing down the measurements and then over here in the background I have it muted right now but um, I'm watching Clay at Clay's Closet. Is this Clay's Closet or Clay Can? Yeah, this one is the Clay's Closet channel. Hey Val, it's Clay. I'm in my storage unit. I was looking at the theater. Is this better? Hello. Hi. Am I too close now? Hi, Emily. Hi. I kind of sound like I'm a suit, Clay, don't I? <laughs> I know, that was weird. And then here on the floor, I have my bags that I'll be using, bread bags and Ziploc bags. And then here is the bag of inventory that needs to get measured. Also, it's pretty cold in here, so I do have my little space heater to keep me warm. Good morning. Welcome back. Um, that's my second time telling y'all good morning because it's the next day. Um, my video entry is slowly turning into a documentary. Um, welcome to my life. Typically, it does not take me this long to list 20 stinking items. It's been a really busy week. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's a holiday week. I don't know, but things have just been really interrupted. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I mean, I've had stuff to do, so it has to get done. Um, I've finally gotten everything washed, everything photographed, Everything's measured and I've just finished kind of tweaking the photos if they needed it um, When I did my photographing it was kind of cloudy out So the fi the pictures needed a little bit of a boost to get them where I like them um, And I finally uploaded them to Poshmark and I have some drafts ready I'm gonna turn you around so that you know I am gonna be listing 20 items So again, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a break. I need to do my packaging I like to drop my stuff off at the post office before they open because I'm socially awkward and introverted and I don't want to have to talk to people so I like to go when everybody's still sleeping it's pretty early right now um, so yeah I'm gonna flip you all around show you my listings that I'm gonna get up today and hopefully I will be back at my desk right now it's almost seven o'clock my goal is to be back in my seat before eight o'clock um, I don't have too much to package but We'll see. I'm going to give myself a little bit of wiggle room so I'm not stressing out. Here's my drafts. Let's view them all so we make sure I'm doing 20. So there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So those are the ones that I'll be um, listing today when I get back home. And then I will edit this um, full length uh, cinematic video. <laughs> I couldn't help it. This I've been out of the game of YouTube for a while. 
I would say I have a good two hours worth of footage to edit. Um, even for a long video, I think that might be too long. Um, it would be funny just to upload the whole gosh dang thing and save myself some time. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. Our goal is to keep it under 20 minutes. So we're going to squish three days into 20 minutes. The magic of editing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do my packaging. I mean, maybe I'll show you that. Why the heck not? We're already long enough. Why not show you everything? <laughs> you want to see my coffee? I'll go make a cup of coffee just to show it to you. <laughs> Voice over, Valerie. Two thumbs up. Um, here we are at the post office. I figure this video is really long. Why not make it longer? Why not make it a come deliver packages with me video as well? Um, there's my car. I love it. It's a Highlander hybrid. And yeah, there's my post office. Canyon City, Colorado. Home of the Vala Milk. Um, that's not really our slogan. Should be, but it's not. Um, I just wanted to bring you in here because this is actually a pretty nice post office. There's all the P.O. boxes. And here's my friend, Mr. Big Box. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. That's where I put my packages when I don't feel like interacting with other humans. Um, sometimes this thing gets jammed and it's a bummer and then I have to go ring on the doorbell and then the early, early bird workers are really tired and really annoyed that I clogged their machine again. Um, yeah, they know my face. They know it well. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Just had a few to drop off. This is really cool. Letters to Santa. Kids come and drop their letters to the North Pole. Really cute. Uh, there's the full full view of it. Going back outside, let me just show you our beautiful mountains. Um, we had a little itty bitty bit of snow and it's already melted. <laughs> um, but it is pretty. It's just so dang pretty. You never fully get used to the mountains. I've lived here my entire life and you don't get used to the mountains. Every day they're just as beautiful. Hi, Bella. Hi. Hi. Do you miss your family? They'll be home soon. Hi. Hi, black cat. Hey, I got breakfast. Hi, tiger. Here. Hi, tiger. You're gonna be YouTube famous. You wanna say hi? Okay. And it was at that moment she realized she wore the wrong shoes to feed the chickens. Can I reach under you? Oh yeah, you guys are busy, huh? Okay, we're back home. It's 8.05, so I almost hit my goal of being home by 8, but I had to run a few errands. We went first to Chad's work. I had a package there I needed to pick up. Then I went to the post office, and then I went to Smelly Melly's house to feed her animals. Um, they're spending Thanksgiving with her in-laws, so I am taking care of the animals over there. Um, I, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make this video like just an everything video. It's going to have a little bit of absolutely everything. So I figure why the heck not? Let's open a package on camera. Um, this one is from Brittany at Brittany's Brands. Um, I think sometime last week she was 
sharing a bunch of stuff in my Poshmark closet and I wanted to return the favor. So I went over to her Poshmark closet to share and I started scrolling and then I started um, purchasing stuff. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. She had two pair of jeans that I absolutely could not live without. Um, I think she had them priced at $20 each, so it was $40. I offered her $35 and she accepted, so thank you, Brittany. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open her up. Sorry about the angle, but... I have a lot of stuff to do today and like I can't stop filming. I just keep recording even though I probably shouldn't be. Okay, so here's the jeans I ordered. We'll open these first. Let me set this on the ground. Aw. So she packaged it nice. She like wrapped it in a bow and there's my two jeans. And it says, thank you for your purchase, Brittany's Brands. So that's a smart idea. She's got like a little sticker there that says her, uh, her name on it or her closet name. So both pair are actually new with tags. These ones are the brand Wild Fable, which is a Target brand, but like everything that Wild Fable makes is so stinking cute. I think that's because it's like aimed at millennials and it works. Your marketing works. I, I want all of your clothing. Um, these ones are a pair of black denim jeans. Um, they're high rise, but I really liked that it's like a wide leg, but it's also cropped and it's a raw hem. So I kind of thought this looked like a skater look. If I remember, I'll pop a picture up right here of her listing. Um, yeah, these ones are called the high rise. Hi, it's called the high rise skater. <laughs> so it makes sense. But I just thought these were really cool. And this is like completely my aesthetic. So I'm excited to wear these. So the next pair are ridiculously similar to the first pair, but they're a little different, and so I needed both of them. Um, this one is by Universal Thread, which I believe is also sold at Target. Again, new with tags. Um, these ones are a black high-rise jean with a raw hem, but these ones are more of a tapered leg. Those last ones were like a wide leg. So there's a difference. Um, yeah, these are really cool. Um, if I go out today, I'm gonna wear these. So here in Colorado, the weather is a little bit colder. So in anticipation for wearing cropped um, jeans, I went onto Amazon and I bought wool socks to wear with them. Here's what they look like. They're really cute. Like, look at them, they're so cute. Um, I'll also link those down below. I think they were a five pack. Um, really, really cute socks, but like, I want to wear my cropped jeans, but I didn't want my ankles to be cold, so solution. Okay, so that's enough of an unbox. Oh wait, no, there was more in the box. No, 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 we're not done unboxing. So she knows that I collect wicker. I don't know if I can wiggle my chair around. Up on top of my TV stand right there, I have a collection of wicker, and she got me a wicker duck. I don't have any light colored ones. He's a good size too. He might actually sit on my coffee table and like hold my lotions and my chapsticks and stuff that sits over there. He's so cute. Thank you, Brittany. I'm gonna name my duck Brittany. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to get back to work. I have 20 listings to get up. It's 8, 12 a.m. My goal is to have everything listed by 10 a.m. I think it's doable. Everything's pretty easy. It's not like crazy vintage stuff that's hard to look up so hopefully i'll meet that goal i mean the original purpose of this video was to enter the giveaway the list everything giveaway and that's where we started things kind of got a little i started recording everything so here we are um i know just like a few clips ago i was like i'm gonna cut it down to 20 minutes no i'm not this is gonna be the longest video of your life if you're still watching at this point Good job, thank you. We're not done yet. I still have to list and then come check back in and end the video, so it's gonna be a long video. Okay, I've just finished listing my items. Um, I went a little past the time I wanted to take to do it. I think I said I wanted to be done by 10 o'clock. It's 11.16, so I didn't go that far over. Uh, my friend Brian, aka Texas Treasures, aka The Brain, he went live and I hopped on there and it was a little bit of a working hangout. Um, those always kind of slow you down a little bit, but at least it made it not so tedious and lonely. But anyway, I just finished listing my 20 items. I'm gonna flip you all around and show you what I did. So here's my Poshmark closet. That's me when I comb my hair and put makeup on. <laughs> me catfishing on a Poshmark. <laughs> um, anyway, so here's my listings. There's 20 of them. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, yeah, there we go. So I think I need to treat every day of listing like I'm entering in a giveaway and it's the last day of the giveaway and I'm like trying to beat the clock and get my listings done because that did help speed me up having that pressure on me. <laughs> Even if I don't win the giveaway, it was still really fun. I listed 20 items. Um, that's 20 items less in my death pile. 20 items that have the potential of making me some moolah moolah. Um, and it made me make a video. It forced me to post a YouTube video. I feel like it's been like over a month since my last posting. Not a bad thing that I haven't been posting YouTube videos. On my end, it's been a pretty good thing. That means that I'm here busy listing. I'm not too good at the multitasking of working and being a YouTuber, um, editing videos takes a while. Like, I'm almost tempted to upload all of the footage unedited, like all three hours of it. Um, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to set another goal for myself. 11, 20 right now. So I'm going to attempt to have my video completed by 1 p.m. my time. I can do that. 12, 1, that's two hours, almost two hours. I can do it. It's going to be some fast editing. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you, Emily, and thank you, Yakov, for hosting this giveaway. That's really nice of you guys. Like, $100 is a really big deal. And not just thank you for the money that I haven't won yet. <laughs> I sound like I'm giving my acceptance speech. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying thank you for your generosity and thank you for motivating us to start listing more. Um, but yeah, that really is everything for this video. I will have everything linked down below. At this point, I don't even remember what I mentioned linking down below. Um, as I'm editing, I will start linking. Um, feel free to visit my Poshmark closet. Go check out the 20 things that I listed. Um, my closet is at Valomilk. It'll be linked down below. Also, also linked down below is my Instagram. It's my personal page. Go follow me there. It's a little bit random, but it's, it's, go follow me. <laughs> um, also, also, also linked down below is the Facebook group I'm in. It is the Seven Sticks Reselling Mastermind Group. I don't even know if I said that right. It'll be linked down below. Go join it. We have a Monday Zoom call. It kind of just keeps you on track and it gives you a little bit of motivation. So if you're interested in either of those two things, go join our Facebook group and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a happy Thanksgiving and yeah, that's it. Bye.